Hi folks, it's a blustery autumn day here in England with the uh, leaves coming off the trees and I've got another pair of old school British Army boots to show you today. These date from the mid 1980s and their official destination was Boots Combat High. But I think at the time some of the troops used to call them Boots Cardboard Horrible. I don't think they were that well received. These were the immediate predecessors to these boots, the Combat 95 boot. I'll just do a brief comparison between the two boots at the, in a moment. And these Combat boots high followed on from the DMS direct molded sole ankle boots that had been in service since uh, the late 1950s, 1958 onwards. And then prior to them, of course, was the ammo boots uh, that had gone back to the beginning of the uh, 20th century, or even longer. They'd gone through the two world wars, uh, right back to, I think, the 1880s. So, the DMS boot that was introduced in 1958 uh, had a very poor review during the Falklands campaign in 1982 and following that there was a lot of complaints and so the Ministry of Defence introduced these boots which are a high leg boot. As you can see they've got nine outlets, uh, the old standard pattern. The, they're pretty much unlined there is uh, some lining at the back, a strip of leather at the back, but the rest of the boot is unlined. They're a pretty basic construction, old school. The outsole is perhaps a bit of a departure from the uh, what used to be called the commando sole, which we'll see on the, uh, the other boots in a minute. And this is more like uh, one of the outsoles from an American Army boot from the late 60s through the 70s, early 80s. This is a chevron type pattern. These are getting quite rare to find now. I picked them up the other day from my local Army surplus store, but they are they are getting uh, quite a rare boot to uh, to come across. So just looking at these and comparing to the uh, the 95 boot, which I've done a separate review on this anyway on the channel. Um, big difference here on the thickness of the leather. The leather is a lot thicker on the 95 boot than on this uh, boot combat high from the 80s. Thicker construction altogether. The speed lace system on here eyelets at the bottom followed by a speed lace system where this is all just the, the standard eyelets. So you'd have to say at first glance that these are probably a, a superior boot. They're much heavier construction, seem to be a lot stronger made. The Archilles heel of this boot, so to speak, is the outsole because there's been a lot of complaints over the outsole just breaking up after storage compound doesn't seem to survive that long um, and even on my boot some of it's chipped away from just walking on a gravel path so they had a major problem with some of these boots on the on the outsole but it's a lot thicker as we can see than this boot so there's a lot thinner outsole on here the 95 of course was then replaced starting 2000 and uh, 13, early 13, with the, the brown boots, which a lot of reviews on my channel about the different brown boots. So, I think these are probably a better boot, apart from the from the outsole problem, if you've got a boot without the, with no issues there, these do seem a little bit thinner, perhaps lighter to walk in though. So these are boots combat high from the mid 1980s as I mentioned that replaced the DMS ankle boot. 
Okay, so thanks for watching. Take care out there. Enjoy your walking.